Hey guys, today we talk about how to upgrade your exosuit as well as how to get more slots on your multi-tool and ship. After that I will go through some useful game mechanics you might not know already and at the end of the video I show you some giant flying worms as well as sandstorms and dogfights. So let's start with upgrading the exosuit with more slots. You need to go down to a planet and find drop pods. You can do that by just flying around and search for them or you go to an outpost and search for a signal scanner. The signal scanner is a device on the ground with a yellow beam that goes up into the air. To activate the signal scanner you need a bypass chip. Just craft one in your inventory. The resources needed for it are small. After you got it, activate the signal scanner and choose to search for shelter. You can also search for monoliths, outposts and transmissions. However, when you click on shelter it will update your waypoint with the location of a drop pod. You then just have to fly over there and get the slot upgrade from the pod. Search for the open side and click on the upgrade. You have to pay a small fee and the slot will be installed afterwards. Next we want to find a better multi-tool. You find some of them in the outposts most of the time with an alien in there. There is a special shelf in some where you can check the multi-tool and replace it. I would always recommend to do it to assure you progress and can find a better one each time you upgrade. The attachments you already installed you can just redo on your new multi-tool. Don't worry if you can't find scan or analyzer blueprints in your inventory. You will have access to them after you replace the tool. Next thing how to upgrade your ship. Just go to a space station and wait for the ships to land. Then go over there and click on it. You will talk to the alien inside and you can make an offer for the ship. Before you have to pay you see the slots and the upgrades the new ship has available. In case you want to buy it, assure you move over the inventory to the new ship first, otherwise it will be lost. You can also dismantle upgrades and rebuild it on your new ship. Also note, if you don't upgrade your ship, you will not progress and you can't find better ones. You will have to buy one at some time to assure you can get always further improved ship versions. It works like a progress tree similar to the multi-tool. Do not stick to your ship for too long to assure you get offered better ones in the future. Ok, finally I will go through some game mechanics that you might not know already. Hit D-pad up for flashlight. Restore hard left D-pad. Melee R1. You can zoom more than once after L2. Click the right thumbstick multiple times to zoom in more often. Sprint hop. Tap melee and then immediately tap jump. That's 4 times the speed of sprinting. Jetpack climb. Face to face to a cliff and hold down the jetpack button to help you climb vertically. Like that the jetpack will never run out. Hold X underwater to climb faster. After jumping out of the water look down and release the jetpack to swim faster with the same speed as your jetpack. Stack your inventory in your ship. It holds double the amount per slot. When you place upgrades for the same item on a multi-tool or ship next to each other you will get a bonus. You can do multiple upgrades that are the same to further enhance the power of the item. You don't need fuel if you start from a landing pad. The more precious cargos you get, the more likely you will be attacked by pirates. There are some spots in the game where you can call your ship, either on a landing pad or on an outpost. Just use a bypass chip with those spots and your ship will arrive. Maybe the last thing to add, I would recommend to store your safe on USB from time to time. There are still some game glitches that could cause you to lose progress or to even restart. Now check out the giant worms, the sandstorms and some dogfights. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please thumbs up if you do so and subscribe to my channel. See you soon for the next No Man's Sky update. Over and out. Ciao.